Hey there guys, it's me Swammy, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install my AOT fan game for PC. Uh, this will work for any version of the game from now, in the future, and forever. So, be sure to follow this guide step by step, really really simple, you're going to be able to install the game. Well, not install the game, but set up the game. So, first things first, you need to go and download the game. Now, I've provided a link in my Discord, find the links to the game download in the description. So, what happens when you download the game? So, what will tend to be the case is you'll probably join the Discord and you find one of the two servers, Mediafire or Google Drive. Now, um, both of these work the exact same file. Google Drive tends to be quicker, but isn't always up. So in this case, I'll show you how Mediafire works. We'd go here and we just click download. So you'll get this file here um, called Swammy's AOT Fan Game Zip. Um, they'll have a different version of it based on which version of the game you're trying to play. But in this case, we have version 0.25. Now, like I said, this process is the exact same for every game. All I have to do is right click and extract all. Or if you have a file extractor like WinRAR, you can do extract here, extract files like this. But in this case, I'm going to show for people who don't have that installed. You just click extract all and click extract and it will end up extracting your files for you. That's all you have to do. Then you're going to get a folder called the exact same thing. Now I can open that up and there'll be the folder inside for the actual game. Now all you have to do to play the game is just run this exe. Now I will note that there will be some people who run into an issue. If you try to move this onto your desktop, for example, because you want to open a game on your desktop, that's not going to work. You're going to run it and you're going to get this error. It's because it can't access the files for the game anymore. So what you need to do is drag that back in, right click it, create a shortcut, and then you can move that to your desktop. And this, if I double click it, will run the game. So as you can see here, I'm playing the game absolutely fine. I can hop into multiplayer. You can even see other players here. So I'm playing multiplayer. There's another player here. There we go, take down the titans together. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine, no issues at all. Now, in case you guys are still watching the video because your game doesn't actually seem to open or run, I'm gonna troubleshoot with you guys and try to help you fix some of the issues. So if you open the game and you get an error mentioning DirectX or DXGI, all you need to do typically is go to your Epic Games Launcher, which you probably have installed, maybe haven't used in a while, and update it. Typically this will update when you open it. If this still doesn't work and you still get the error when opening the game, just reinstall Epic Games Launcher. This just happens because I used Epic Online Services and if you download Epic Games maybe like a few years ago to play Fortnite and then you haven't touched it since, that can cause some issues it seems. But most of you, if not all of you, shouldn't run into any issues with this. Now the next issue is you're getting an error saying you don't have a DirectX capable GPU or um, your game gets to a black screen and it just hangs forever and it eventually crashes. Now the most likely reason for this is you do not have a dedicated GPU, or at least a graphics card that is capable of running the game. Now an easy way to check and see if you have one of these is to right click on here, go to Task Manager and head over to the Performance tab. Now in here I can see I have a GPU which is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Super. Now I'm using an actual full desktop PC, so typically if you have a desktop PC you'll know if you have a graphics card because it's, it's right there, it's quite big, quite noticeable. But in case uh, you go to this tab and you see something like AMD Radeon Graphics or Intel HD Graphics, you're running on integrated graphics and most likely you won't be able to run the game. Now in case any of you guys are still watching the video and have any issues still with the game, or you know you're running into some issues, be sure to join the Discord which is linked below. Join the questions channel or PC bug reports and we'll be more than happy to help. Obviously please be patient with us, it's a free fan game in the end and it's just being made by myself alone. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this tutorial helped you guys a lot. I figured I'd give it an update seeing as, a, seeing as the first one was made quite a while ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Is that what I say? Like and subscribe? <laughs> oh god, see you guys.